the importance of cleansing. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, we here. What's up? What's up? What it do? What's up? About the rest of the lyrics, but I would me. Yeah, the topic of today that we're gonna get into speaks on the importance of cleansing, right? And that can vary from many things. And I'm gonna hit you up on like why it is so important to cleanse. So the first thing at the top of my head that I can think of is cleansing helps with your dreams no? and cleansing can vary from many things from gapping to baiting to working out working your stomach or oh, this is just cleaning out your system basically and who can I bad right for cleansing purposes whether it be for tea after having sex um for the lucky etc right so Cleansing is such an important thing to do because you're not only cleansing your physical self but your spiritual self. Or as if you're a person who dreams a lot, no? or who sees in their dreams, who receives information from their dreams, it's always important to cleanse in order for you to remember the dreams and recollect the dreams that you have because there may be messages that you have to receive from that specific dream that you have that night or Or credit bonus are holding thing, right? And in doing so, cleansing can vary from hoga pa honsalilet. So, not only for people who are spiritual, but it also helps with our regular regular people. I don't like to classify us as like this party and this party, but yeah, for all people in general, it's important to cleanse because you grab onto a whole lot of spirits at the same time, also you could have a lot of bad energy within you and cleansing will help with that to relieve you from those bad spirits to help strengthen you at the same time spiritually as well Korea it varies from a lot but it's quite important to cleanse and to make it a regular thing whether it be for example wagapa right gapping is like basically vomiting from directly translating from gapping maybe like two times in a month you know to clean out your system from working out your stomach it's such an important thing to touch on because a lot of people you find at the end of the day collect so many bad spirits and bad energies that it affects their lives and creates blockages within their life from wanting to receive that job or cleanse in order for things to open up for you and that specific mood to using that point in time will help open these doors because you had to cleanse or maybe you slept with someone who carried a lot of energy right remember i spoke in the last video speaking on when you're having sex right it's not only a physical thing but it's also a spiritual thing so you're taking on that person's traumas you're taking on that person's anger you're taking on the person's emotions you're connecting right because in that space you're one whether it be from casual sex or if this is a partner of yours it's always best to cleanse right so that you can relieve yourself of these energies and be within your own because some people may carry such bad energies to such an extent from previous partners maybe that and it affects their life from then going forward and then you come to that person you sleep with that person as well they haven't cleansed the same may vary for you, Unkadi Batiza, their previous partner, and so forth. And it creates these blockages for you within your life. And then you sit there thinking to yourself, ah, but what's taking place in my life? I'm doing this and this and I'm doing this and this, right? What's happening? Or you may wake up, you know those dreams where you eat with your dreams. Agree? That's like sitges. That's where it comes in to be such an important thing for Ogape because you're not basically meant to be eating within your dreams. That's when you know that, hey, it's not the one, this one, it's not for me. So, that's why it's always important for Ogape. And Odule Ogape, Odule Oklenze, it's a very good thing to do because at the end of the day, it benefits you. So, if you don't practice this, it may affect you in the long run. Right? 
it may affect you in the long run and honestly you'll feel lighter afterwards and then Korea it feels like you, you'll take out the world <laughs> you can gap you can gap on there when it comes to gap right uh, depending on how serious your situation is but if it's like a thing that you want to do every two months right that's not so severe or you just want to cleanse your system basically you can onke litwai vinegar and sugar right so with that you'll take two tablespoons of sugar two tablespoons of salt and then basically two tablespoons of vinegar my baba calls it sweet and sour because it's it's really sweet and sour and then you pour it into bolia air right depending on the size of bolia you pour it into that pour the hot water in there stir it and then leave it to become lukewarm from there you'll drink that and you do this in the morning and you never do it on a cloudy day you never cup on a cloudy day you do it early mornings early mornings going from 5 6 and then 7 right on an empty stomach so don't eat around about 12 o'clock at night there and then on a cup around that time so make sure you have an empty stomach you're on empty stomach you think that release and then have maybe like close to 25 liter of clean water right next to you so once you've released the sweet and sour mixture my my advice to use or in way like one shot because if you don't yo but if you are someone wants to practice it you'll find out why i say so you drink that release it and then go to the clean water drink 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 fill up your stomach release again release again release again until all the water basically leaves your system right and then for a first time gap gapping best you finish all that water within the 25 liter and then yeah from there you'll feel a lot lighter and you'll feel a lot better for it for a lot of people it's not a nice thing to do i personally before i started gapping never wanted to do such throughout my entire life but i had to learn to do so more effectively and i've been applying it in my daily life now because it does help quite a lot chen i'm not gonna lie so it helps in terms of your cleansing also it helps relieve slimes and so forth in your chest or lilata and so forth it will help with your dreams so you remember your dreams and then we turn to body body and so forth right those if you feel otoka body with isa otoka body at like depending on your situation you'll go to the person that you feel okay you trust ngaka haho and then from there they'll sort you out with that yeah so you can practice those and apply them in your daily lives but it's quite important to cleanse and to stay clean not only for your spirit but for your well-being as well because everything that happens in the spiritual world will manifest itself into the physical and that's just how things take place and it's vice versa also so anything bad that's taking place in your physical life or that you're applying to your physical life will affect you spiritually as well and then you'll start to feel down you'll wake up tired or you won't have you won't be in the mood for life right because you won't have any type of motivation towards it you won't want to do anything so forth so forth and so forth so that's why it's quite important to cleanse yeah that's my two cents on that have a good one thanks guys